Mathematics can be polarizing. Some students love it, others hate it. But few get to experience the authentic mathematical experiences that mathematicians describe with words like beauty and elegance. And few get to practice the problem solving that has transformed the 21st century with its contributions to science and technology. But what if we were to use mathematics to light students' curiosity, build their understanding through productive struggle, and help them own their learning? I'm Dan Finkel. I'm a PhD in mathematics and the founder of Math for Love, an organization devoted to transforming how mathematics is taught and learned. I write curriculum, I design board games, I invent puzzles, and I teach teachers and students around the world. I've come to Australia to see how rich mathematical experiences can transform the learning of students and the practice of teachers. I've been fascinated by how mathematics can change lives ever since it happened to me. I started my journey in mathematics like most of us. In math class, the teacher would present a new idea or technique, and the students were supposed to take notes and then apply that technique on practice problems. Effectively, they would tell you the answer or what to do, and then you would try to do it. While I did fine in this context, as did some others, a lot of students suffered. But fundamentally, what were we really learning? Number one was just to follow instructions. That all changed when I had a teacher who demanded that we take ownership of our own mathematical experience. Instead of giving us answers, we got rich tasks, problems that were challenging and meaty and authentic. And we weren't given a strategy or way to solve them. We had to fight our way through. And suddenly it was our struggle, our insights, our ownership. For me, it was a life-changing experience. And my first thought was, why did it take so long for us to get to this? Why have I never had these kind of authentic mathematical experiences before? Experiences that are social and playful and challenging and just so much fun. Since then, I've been obsessed with how we can bring that kind of experience to students because I believe every student deserves to have it. And right now, it is all too rare in our math classrooms. So what is rich learning, really? Rich learning is the process of developing robust and connected networks of knowledge, skills, and problem-solving abilities. Students do this when they become curious about something, struggle productively to understand it, and own that experience. This is one of our highest goals as educators. We can't guarantee that students will experience this kind of rich learning on any given day. But if we use rich tasks, we can make it more likely. We can also make choices in the classroom that prioritize this kind of powerful student thinking. To start, we can invite students into the rich learning experience by lighting their curiosity and getting them involved in some kind of an irresistible challenge or question or mystery. From there, students should be motivated to dive into the productive struggle and try to make sense of the problem. This is where the real learning happens. Ideally, students should end up making connections, building new strategies, and developing as powerful problem solvers. We can close by helping students articulate their thoughts, reflect, and take ownership of the experience. Curiosity, productive struggle, ownership. These are the hallmarks of rich learning, and every student deserves them. Some people say this is only for the most advanced students. Others see it as remediation. But rich learning is something everyone deserves. And a math classroom without them is incomplete. In this series of videos, we'll explore how we can use rich math tasks to make these kind of transformative learning experiences more standard in our classrooms. We'll see how we can prepare for tasks and how we can launch them in order to light students' curiosity. We'll also see how we can keep students in productive struggle and sustain them as they try to make sense of the problem on their own. We'll see how to wrap up tasks to give students ownership over the experience. 
Learning to use rich tasks effectively can take some work, but trust me, it's worth it. If you're like me, you got into teaching because you wanted to change lives. Rich tasks provide us one of our most effective tools to transform students into mathematicians and make math class the best part of the day.